G'day guys, this is another KD Gentleman video. This one we're going to be talking all about milk and eggs and the most efficient and easiest way to get it with doing the least amount of effort. Let's go! First of all, we decided to build off a little separate area to try and do a control study here. With this one we put in three wombats so we could try and get basic milk out of them and then how to get high quality milk out of it all and four chickens to go with it. Both the wombats and the chickens can be purchased from Erwin whether he is a resident or whether he is just temporarily staying with you. We found that the wombats took five days to fully mature and the chickens took four days to fully mature. Now, what we have started off with doing is literally just letting them grow, not doing anything and seeing if they would produce milk. They would not produce milk at all with zero interference with it. So we have to do something to get the milk and eggs. So with the wombats, we first off testing um, adding a house to them, each one. It turned out to be extremely effective and they started producing milk the next day. That's without food and without pats. With the chickens, adding a shelter to them did not make any effect on them producing eggs. They still produced nothing. So we went back a little bit and decided that we would have to do a feeder. So we got the automatic grain feeder, put in a feeder for each one of them. And then the next day they started producing eggs, which is great. Now we've just got basic milk and eggs with doing nothing but them, the chickens eating with no shelter and the wombats not eating but with shelter. So that's the bare minimum you need. We've decided to also build a nursery animal farm right in our base area. The benefits to it is that we put gates in and that the locals will come in and pat them for us and give them more love and attention. We also had enough feeders for them all and also their own shelters each. With all that, they now have a max um, happiness level and we literally do not have to do anything you don't have to pat them yourself you just have to make sure that they've got enough food in the feeder to feed them all this will produce high quality milk and high quality eggs now it's a good and bad thing having it so close we found that we consistently get high quality milk and larger eggs and not able to make anything because you can't make anything with that sort of stuff except for the high quality cheese we made the little outlier place so we can get just a low level milk and eggs we don't put any gates to it so the farmers can't pat them and so we keep it away for all those reasons. Now we've got two separate areas that will make good stuff and the lower quality stuff and that's it. So if you liked anything from the video guys, give it a thumb up. We want to hit that thousand in the next two months. Let's make it happen guys. Catch you on the next one.